Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and most exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today, China introduces new crypto regulations, DX Exchange gets off to a bumpy start, New York opens new blockchain center, and Scammer takes advantage of Ethereum's upcoming hard forks. Stay tuned for more, I'm your host Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. The Chinese Cyberspace Administration of China has introduced a new set of regulations to be imposed on blockchain-based service providers from this coming February. The overall intention behind the new regulations is to, quote, promote the healthy and orderly development of the industry. The proposed regulations largely revolve around eliminating anonymity within the space. For instance, starting February, both firms and users will have to undergo proper identity authentication in order to provide or engage in blockchain-based services. Moreover, firms will be required to grant the CAC access to stored data and report any updates to the regulator. Companies failing to comply with the new regulations will be subject to fines or even criminal investigations. Over the past year, the Chinese government has taken a conservative stance on cryptocurrencies. And while the CAC claims that the new regulations will promote the sector's development, it also dramatically increases government's control over the sector. Yesterday, Ars Technica reported that DX Exchange, a Nasdaq-powered token trading platform, has a critical security vulnerability. A trader who wishes to remain anonymous for legal reasons claimed that he was able to get a hold of 100 account login credentials, including authentication tokens, in as little as 30 minutes. An authentication token is a series of numbers a user is required to type in as part of two-factor authentication. The trader also claimed that the leaked data even contained sensitive information about employees of the exchange. To make matters worse, the trader was able to create a permanent backdoor to compromise accounts using the site's programming interface. DX Exchange immediately patched the bug as soon as they received Ars Technica's feedback and published an official statement. The CEO of DX Exchange later confirmed that they had discovered and fixed all reported bugs, adding that no user funds were compromised. The New York Economic Development Corporation will be opening a 4,000-square-foot blockchain center in Manhattan as part of a partnership with Future Perfect Ventures and the Global Blockchain Business Council. The new blockchain center located in the heart of New York will offer everything from coding classes to lunch lectures. So far, the center has attracted an investment of $100,000 from the local government. It has also received funding from corporate partners including Microsoft and IBM. Despite the aftermath of the 2018 crypto winter, the city seems to be determined in being at the forefront of the blockchain industry. Anna Arino, the CSO of the New York Economic Development Corporation, stated in an interview with Bloomberg that, quote, Blockchain is a nascent technology, so there's bound to be uncertainty around this evolution from year to year. And while we don't know what the future holds, we want to make sure we have a seat at the table in shaping it. And finally, traders are being warned of potential scammers planning to take advantage of the upcoming Ethereum and Ethereum Classic hard forks. According to CCN, the upcoming hard forks have given rise to scammers including the website Ethereum NOAA and Ethereum Classic Vision, both of which claim to be assisting visitors with the migration process of two hard forks. The allegations were made by Guarda, a blockchain solutions company, when the firm wrote to CCN. According to Guarda, on the NOAA website, users are asked to create a new wallet by importing their old wallet. Once users submit the account info of their so-called old wallet, they effectively give NOAA access to their wallets. As for Ethereum Classic Vision, researchers at Guarda claim that they have located a piece of code designed to send the private key of users to the Ethereum Classic Vision server. However, as no victims of the alleged scam have come forward, the story has yet to be confirmed. Nonetheless, traders are advised to be on the lookout for potential scammers taking advantage of the upcoming hard forks. Bringing the latest news to you, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.